Hey, welcome back to our discussion around professional style. And of course, this topic is on essential workers. And I'll be honest, this video is more of a gratitude to our essential workers. You know, we know for a fact that, you know, our, our doctors and surgeons and nurses, as well as our emergency workers, our frontline workers, I think one of the industries that we take for granted is the grocery store. We just assume that whatever it is we need, we can just go to the store and just, you know, pick it up and it'll be okay. And it usually works out that way. But when they, it's a snow day or lockdown, think about how our grocery stores still had to function. Think about when it's a blizzard or bad weather. They're there to make sure we have everything we need. And they sacrifice their safety or risk their safety, I should say. They sacrifice time from their families um, on holidays, you know. And I think when we think about a frontline worker, the biggest ponder point is to ask yourself, am I willing to show up no matter what? Because in most jobs, we can take off or go work from home or take unpaid time, whatever your situation is. But when you're a frontline worker, that is not necessarily how you look at things. You know, you're like, oh no, I got to work. Well, I'll just take my time and, you know, get there safely when it's snow or ice. And you're like, wow. <laughs> and here I am, you know, I stopped at the grocery store two days ahead of the storm so I can be home safe. And yet while the worst of it is happening, you're driving to work to make sure that the store is open. So if you are considering becoming a frontline worker, I would encourage you to talk with your family because your family, they have to be willing to support you not being available or with the family on holidays. So you have to talk to your spouse. You have to, you know, if you have grown kids or young children, you have to consider them grandchildren. Um, you also need to consider your parents or, you know, there's your family, your support system, your tribe. Um, that's the first step. And then the other piece is to see if you truly and honestly have that level of dedication to show up no matter what, because that's what our frontline front line workers do. And if you are a frontline worker who just happens to stumble across this video, I personally thank you for everything. And that's not even speaking of the past few years, even before the past few years, you know, I thank you for seeing the bigger picture and caring enough about others to where you will show up to serve your place in this world, to make sure you are of service to those. So I appreciate you. Um, I hope that you find passion in everything you do. Every day you go to work, know that there are so many people who just honor you because of your dedication and loyalty to what you do and commitment to us to make sure we have what we need. So that's my topic around essential workers. Um, if you are considering becoming one, another thought is to talk to someone who is an essential worker to see how it, you know, really plays out. Like when it's holidays and they have to work, that would be a good start too. So as we close this discussion, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you are an essential worker, please leave me a comment. I would love to just say thank you again personally. So in this, as we close this out, continue to be safe and I will see you in our next video about corporate America and then we'll close up the professional style and essential workers have an amazing style so you're 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 the boss so be safe and I'll see you in our next video